Welcome again to Praxis Group International, where I teach you exactly what ETS requires of you to earn a respectable passing TOEFL IBT score. Hello again, my name is Mr. Hearn, and I am your TOEFL tutor. In this video, although it's going to be kind of short, it's very important. So watch it all the way through. I'm going to talk about TOEFL practice. One of the problems that many of my students have when they come to me is that they're practicing a lot. And I mean a lot, like seven to 10 hours a day only to take their TOEFL test and fail once again. It's, it's disheartening, right? It's discouraging. It's really, it's really something that we got to get away from. Well, let me tell you a little bit about practicing that will help you to practice less and get a higher score. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Let's talk about what kind of practice you wanna do, how much practice you should do, and what, what methods you should use because there's a lot of different methods being taught as well. Okay, first of all, many of my students are practicing furiously using every kind of resource they can find. They're practicing with Oh, I don't want to mention any names. You probably know there's some Chinese TPOs out there. There's testing sites that have their TOEFL, TOEFL-like TOEFL tests. They're not exactly an official TOEFL test, but they're similar to the TOEFL test. Stop using anything but the newest genuine ETS TOEFL IBT practice test. Let me say that again. Stop using any TOEFL practice tests other than the newest of the ETS official practice tests. And I'm talking about even with the, the books of the TOEFL IBT, um, the fourth edition, fifth edition, sixth edition, volume one, all those books are no longer valid for testing. It's important that you use only the newest tests. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Take a look at this image. When practicing for your TOEFL IBT, use only the official TOEFL IBT test volume two, third edition by ETS from the people who make the test. All right, now let me tell you, I don't make any money from you buying this book. Nothing, nada. I will put the link down below in the description so you can see where is the best place to get it. I, I buy it from ETS directly. Number one, it's cheaper to buy it directly from ETS. I've also found that when I've tried to buy this book from other places, I get a used one. People have drawn in it. It's been returned. So no, get the original because in the new book, you also at the back, you have a code so you could get the computerized version of the test to practice with on your computer. So it has the it has the pages with the actual test, you know, that you can draw in, and it has the computerized computerized version. Okay, talking too fast there. All right, so that's it. Listen, the test is changing, and ETS has a very specific structure that they use to make their passages and their questions and the answers. The other TOEFL tests are similar. Some of them are not even close to similar, but they're kind of the same, but they have different rules. You see, ETS has its own rules for how they make the clue in the passage, right? There's no right answers, right? There's no information in the passage that actually answers the question. They have a clue in the passage that they use to tell you which of the choices is wrong based on their rules. And that's why I teach you what ETS requires of you to answer the questions on the test. If you're reading and reasoning and trying to use what you learned to answer the questions and you're having a hard time, that's your reason. I'm telling you right now. It's, if your English is good and you're still struggling with a 19 to 20 or 21 on your reading section and maybe in the listening section also that you're struggling with answering questions, it's because you're reading too much or listening to too much and taking too many notes. The speaking and writing sections are different, but I mean, in these two major sections, 
You got to really use the genuine ETS practice tests. Okay. The older tests, many of my students use those. They say, but Mr. These are ETS tests. They may be, but if they're outdated, they're no good anymore. ETS is very stingy with their genuine ETS practice tests. And I'll tell you what I mean by stingy. If you don't know what that word means, it means they, they, they allow, they give you very few tests. Okay. Very few. There's five available in this book that I just showed you. And there's two available for free, two for free on your official ETS website. And then if you want additional practice, you can take unofficially scored practice tests on the ETS website. And I'll put that, the, the, uh, that link also down in the description below. So check out the description so you can have resources, okay? When you take those unofficial score unofficially scored tests it's 45 dollars, but it, i really like them because it gives you a good indicator of how well you're going to do on that 250 dollars test or whether you pay depending on where you're at whether it's i think 200 to 280 dollars now depending on where you are in the world either way it's pretty expensive so let's do the practice for 45 dollars. know where you stand and then you can take the actual test also it gives you some experience with uh dealing with your timing and that kind of thing. All right, so when you're practicing, if you think that five practice tests is not enough, there's a reason for that. You see, if you're doing things the wrong way, and I don't mean that what you're doing is wrong, what you're doing may work really well in the real world. I mean, you didn't get to where you are, right? Being a poor student or doing poorly on tests, you are where you are because you're a high level performer, an excellent test taker, but your skills for taking tests are different than your skills you need for taking the TOEFL IBT. Okay. I'm just saying that ETS has its own way of doing things. And you have to do it their way to pass. So when you're practicing to use the five tests and improve enough to be able to pass your test, you have to be able to do the things that ETS requires of you. In other words, many of my students are practicing seven to 10 hours a day. They've had to give up their life, their jobs, their family time. They've had to give up a lot. And I hope that if you're doing that right now, if you're giving up so much time, that you really listen to what I'm telling you so that you can reduce all that to put your family first, practice just one hour a day on your TOEFL, one hour a day for 30 days, and then pass your TOEFL. That's really what it takes because when you're doing things the wrong way, all the practice in the world will only frustrate you. But when you're practicing things the correct way, and that is the ETS way, you don't have to practice very much. You just do the steps that I teach you. And then it you see, it's like, wow, if I just do the steps, it, it, the questions give, they give you the answers, right? In the reading and listening section, they give you the answers. So why is it so hard? The test isn't hard, it's tricky right? It creates a lot of anxiety. It's confusing. ETS has a way of creating anxiety and confusion during the test. And that's what's robbing you of your score. So if you really want to know how to pass this test, come and see me, right? Take a, Join my class so you can pass this test quickly. Now, stop using anything else other than the test that I'm putting the links down below. The reason is that when you use these other tests, even if you get really good at them, you're building skills that don't work on the real test. You wanna build the skills that work on the real test. So you're gonna practice less, have more time for yourself and your family and get that respectable passing score that you need on the TOEFL IBT to get on with your life. That's what it's all about. Keep in mind that when you come to me, you're not taking classes just to pass classes. You're taking classes to pass the test, the TOEFL IBT, okay? You come to me because I have dedicated my life to helping you pass this stupid, crazy test. So that's it for this video. Please go to the links below. Get the practice test that you need. Go to my course. Take the classes that you need. Talk to me if you have any questions. Please put them in the comments below or go to my class because in my class, 
You can email me anytime you want to. There's a TOEFL community where you can talk to other students and ask me questions. I also have a live Q&A every other Saturday that I invite you to come. If you have any questions at all, whether it's anxiety, whether it's about the TOEFL, whether it's about whatever's going on in your life, ask me, okay? I've been doing this for a long time. This is what I do is help you, not just to pass this crazy test, help you with college placement needs or maybe with uh, an interview for work. I do everything I can to help you be successful. That's it for now. Oh, if you haven't already, please, it's so easy. Hit the subscribe button, right? Hit the like button. Give me some love. I'm doing everything I can to help you. Please do at least that much. All right. Love you very much. I'll see you in the next video.